Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of the updates that we're about to make on the Dutching Pro software. Uh, this is the existing version of Dutching Pro before the updates and you can see that we've got some ARBs here uh, on Soccer, I think there's five ARBs in total and if we have a quick look at the markets that are available we've got Drono Bet, both teams to score, match odds, then lots of over under goal markets and also first half winner market there. The updates are pretty incredible when you compare it to what we've got here. I'm going to switch over to a different tab so you can have a quick look. Uh, so straight away you can see we've got lots of ARBs here. The same one at the top, this Sporting Lisbon one. But then we've got some player prop markets here that are showing up ARBs straight away. So I'm going to just scroll quickly down through this. Now I'll let you know that we actually increased the number of entries that are visible on this page from 20 to 50 this morning uh, because there's just so many ARBs that 20 wasn't enough and we're probably going to be increasing it even further pretty soon. So you can see it, as I said, there's 50 uh, slots here essentially and almost all of them are ARBs at the moment. Uh, the player prop markets are just returning ARBs every day, all day, is pretty incredible. It's, it's better than, than we hoped for, to be honest. Uh, I'll scroll back up to the top here. And just in case you think, well, they're probably all fake, let's look at this one, Kings versus Hawks. Uh, so we'll get bet right uh, over 0 0.5 assists at 1.92. That's right there. And we've got tab under uh, 0.5 assists at 2.25. And that's right there. So they're not always real. Um, obviously, these player prop markets, the odds can change quite quickly. It doesn't take a lot um, for for them to change. I'll touch on that later. Um, so they're not always accurate, but most of the time they're accurate, especially if you're a couple of hours out from the matches. Obviously, once you get closer to the match start time, things start changing quite quickly, and and we're not always completely up to speed. But there's loads and loads of opportunities here. Um, if I have a quick look over in the market drop down here, you can see that we've got all of those markets that we had on the the previous version, but we now have line markets, total points market, um, we've got half time markets for those two as well, uh, player points, player rebounds, player assists, and this match odds uh, by double chance. Again, I'll touch on that in a minute. Uh, so if we just kind of scroll down through here, um, Again, you can see all of these ARBs and eventually we'll reach one. Well, let's talk about this match odds versus double chance. So usually with a soccer match, if you want a Dutch, it's a three way Dutch because you've got you would have a Napoli to win, Juventus to win or the draw. You've got three possible outcomes. But because there is a double chance market, uh, we can do a two way Dutch if we use match odds on one team and double chance on the other. And just in case there's any doubt about which team goes on which market, if I hover over here, it's going to tell me. You see, you've got match odds there and double chance there. And it's the same for all of these player props. Obviously, a lot of bookies use different names. So we've got alt rebounds at Sportsbet, player rebound milestones at Bet365. So if you're ever unsure about where to look for these odds, you just hover over the, the market name and it'll pop up there. Then if we keep scrolling, hopefully, um, well, we're getting into the line markets here. So we've got different line markets. Um, and eventually I'm going to reach one. Uh, oh, maybe I'm not. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to choose line and total points here. I'll let this load up for a second. Okay, so now I've just got line and total point markets available to me. And if I scroll down, you'll see that some of them are going to have this middle available. So because we've now got lines and total points, we're also picking up middles. And you can see here, this one isn't an ARB. Uh, it's going to cost 53 cents. But if the Raptors win by exactly 16 points, we've got a half middle here because this one is going to be voided. We're going to get our money back on it. And we're going to get paid out here. And as I scroll down, we'll see some more of these opportunities. 
usually it's just a half point middle sometimes you get a full point middle uh but the middles are there we've got a full point one there and i've seen plenty over the last day or two uh where it's not only a middle but it's also an arb so there's just loads and loads of opportunities on this and we're still in the early stages of it we're still working on it it's going to keep getting better and better uh but as you can see already there is just a huge amount of opportunities uh you can see now that i've just refreshed that we've now got a four uh dollar arb or a four percent arb and that isn't uncommon um the highest that i've seen in the last week and that i checked and was legit was a 20 percent arb that's not the 20 percent isn't usual but I've seen lots and lots in the sort of six, seven, eight percent range, uh, and that's every day, every day that there's basketball on. Um, and I should point that out: it is uh, NBA that's providing the the bulk of this at the moment. But we are going to be adding in more sports. Hopefully, we're going to have uh, data for the Australian Open for the tennis, uh, and then obviously by March we'll be looking at AFL and NRL and anything else that we can add in. But for the moment, NBA is where uh, the, the best action is, and there is just loads and loads of opportunities. But as I did mention a, a moment ago, the odds do change quickly. So, you know, this is a very powerful tool. It, it can provide a lot of return, uh, but it needs to be treated with caution. So there's been discussion in the ARB channel and Discord about this. We put up the ARB warning a month or two ago because of it. If you're looking at this and seeing these ARBs and thinking this is a money printing machine, in part you're right, but you can break that machine very easily if you're not cautious with your staking. Uh, and don't, you don't only break it for yourself, you can potentially break it for other people. So in part, that's why we closed down uh, new memberships for the pro tier. So a couple of days ago, we closed uh, Pro Tier to new members and we won't be opening it. I know a lot of people are going to be watching this and thinking, this looks great, how do I get it? If you're not already a Pro member, you need to wait until probably about the last week in February and then we're going to open it up. Until then, we'll be testing it out with the, the small number of existing Pro members uh, so that we can obviously refine it from our end but also get an idea of how the bookies are going to react because obviously they're going to see a lot of additional turnover on these markets. And what we don't want is for them just to increase their overrounds and remove the, the value of this software completely. So it does need to be treated with caution. And also just from a personal level, if you go in and start throwing down hundreds of dollars on these bets, you're going to get limited very, very quickly. Uh, so you have to be very cautious with your staking, especially when it comes to player props. Uh, obviously, it depends on the boogie. It depends on the market itself. But this bet returns 4% on a $100 total stake. If we click here, you can see it's 75 at sports bet and 25 at bet365. I would say you definitely don't want to be going any higher than that on on a player prop market. If anything, you might want to consider dropping that down to $50 total stake. And that's still returning over $2 in profit. And like I said, there's multiple opportunities like that every day. So we'll over the next sort of six, seven weeks, we'll be able to refine this. We're going to open up a, a separate pro chat on Discord so that people who are using this software can kind of feedback their experiences and we can try and figure out where the sweet spot is in terms of staking. We're going to try and add some additional educational materials so that um, everyone who uses this uses it in the best possible way for their own benefit and also for the benefit of everyone else that's using it. Because if we've got nine people who are going in and using sensible staking on an ARB, and then the tenth person comes in and tries to whack down five hundred bucks on it. Every one of those ten people is probably going to have their account reviewed. So 
don't mess it up for yourself and don't mess it up for everybody else. You treat it with caution because, as I said, this is a very powerful tool. Uh, and if we use it right, it's going to be great for everyone. Um, but we don't want to uh, use it in the wrong way and, and make it useless. And just in relation to that, I want to point out that the ARBs that are popping up on here, uh, we're not going to allow anyone to share them uh, within the Discord. You should not be tagging ARB alerts on these. Uh, if you did, you'd be there all day for a start. Um, especially on these markets, you don't want anyone else betting at the same time as you. Chances are there will be, but it'll be one or two people who are looking at the, the software at the same time. You don't want to be tagging um, ARB alerts and having 100 or 200 or whatever number of people jumping on at the same time and it's only going to cause you trouble and, and everyone else trouble. So please don't share these even within the pro chat and also uh, definitely don't don't be tagging other, other people um, to try and get other people on there. There's enough ARPs to go around for everybody here. Okay, uh, I think I've covered everything here. Like I said, Pro Chat's going to be opened up probably around the same time that I post this video. Uh, so if you've got any questions and you have access to it, you can you can post in there. For everyone else, as I said, we're we're sorry, but this is not going to be available to anyone else for the next about six weeks, maybe a little bit more. Um, but once it's opened up, it's going to be even better than it is now. And yeah. Um, I'm sure everyone's going to want to test it out because it's it looks amazing. It's it's better than I hoped for when we started this, and it's only going to get better. So yeah, enjoy, you guys.